Hello, I am Carol Amendola Dianca, board certified nutritionist, licensed nutritionist, and uh, with a strong Mediterranean background, always looking for the best nutrition that we can get from the foods that we're eating and at trying to pass that information along to you uh, and my subscribers. So lately I've been watching videos and reading up much on olive oil, which is a staple across the entire world in kitchens. Uh, it's used just about everywhere in kitchens and restaurants and we consume it regularly. Many people don't have much information except for beyond test, taste. And so recently I watched a video from Chef Vincenzo from Vincenzo's Plate, which was a beautiful video on olive oil. And he tasted a number of different brands and he gave recommendations at the end. Um, he did give some uh, additional ideas for how to find good quality olive oil, such as buy extra virgin olive oil, that's the best. Look for the date on the label. Many, um, many brands do not even put a harvest date on, so you don't know how old the olive oil is. And then, of course, to go by uh, taste. But I wrote to um, Chef Vincenzo, and I asked him if he and I could do a video together to bring the information to the next level, and that is the nutritional value of olive oil. Because after all, why do we consume olive oil? beyond taste is there anything more and there definitely is and it's the amount of polyphenols that are available in that olive oil so yes it needs to be extra virgin it needs to be cold pressed it needs to be grown in the right um, conditions it needs to be bottled correctly and shipped correctly there are so many things about it it would be nice it would have been nice to just add a couple minutes about that so people are even more um, educated because the nutritional value of olive oil seems to get lost in the in the rush of other things and that's really one of the biggest benefits of why we why we consume it we consume it because of the polyphenols and what are polyphenols it's a special class of nutrients that have antioxidant uh, capability and the juice of the olive which we call olive oil uh, should be loaded with polyphenol. So when we consume it for taste, we can consume it also for nutritional benefits. But not all olive oil is treated the same, produced the same, pressed the same, shipped the same, and uh, some can have a high polyphenol content, and some olive oils can be just merely for taste or for adding fat to food. So this is something that you can get if you know what to look for. So make sure, yes, you are looking for a harvest date. Ideally, it would be great if the oil came from one variety of olives from one farm in one harvest. And there's an awful lot of olive oil on the market that is a blend or it's refined uh, because it's not uh, pure enough to, uh, to, to um, be presented as a high quality olive oil. So the, the myriad of benefits in good olive oil is that it's anti-inflammatory. In fact, one of the polyphenols has the same chemical makeup as ibuprofen. And I'm not pres prescribing here or suggesting that you use it as an ibuprofen, but that benefit is there. I might do some more research in that and just find out how much olive oil you'd have to consume to get that same effect. But it has good solid, uh, the polyphenols have good solid research, I should say the polyphenols in olive oil, to have benefits for many, many things, for aching joints, for uh, heart disease, to feed your brain, to help your gut. There's so many things. It needs to be mentioned when we talk about olive oil and quality because that is part of the quality. And the American Heart Association says it's heart healthy, but they don't go on to explain which olive oil, what does it take to be heart healthy and which are heart healthy and which aren't. Chef um, Vincenzo mentions about if you can go to Italy and you can go to a small grower and you can get olive oil there that that's probably going to be the best. That's not possible when we go to a grocery store 
uh, and we're looking for olive oil and we probably aren't finding this high polyphenol olive oil in the grocery store unless it's really labeled as such, a good grower will actually inc include a chemical analysis of how much polyphenol is in his or her oil. So these are things we need to become aware of. I have found a grower recently that will divulge that information. I will put the link in the, um, in the description. And this is not meant to be a sales pitch for this olive oil. Up to you. You need to research on your own and the information is available out there. I'll try to keep putting it out. But if you would like to take a look at this one, it's going to be in limited quantities because olive oil is going to be, the calculation is maybe 30% less production this year because of changes in climate. So the harvest is around the corner. The end of September, October, November, if you're buying olive oil today, it's probably a year old, at least a year old from the last harvest. This is an opportunity to get olive oil that has been pressed from olives six hours after picking and uh, shipped to your door within uh, weeks of, of pressing. I don't think many people have tasted olive oil that fresh. So up to you. And also one other thing, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It would make me extremely happy. Not that you're here to make me happy, but um, it would certainly make me happy. Thanks for stopping by and listening, and I'll talk to you again soon.